Greetings, beautiful people. You signed up for Psych 2012, and I'm Amira Sims, your psychology instructor. And this very brief syllabus slideshow is going to go over some of the highlights from the course syllabus. Now, I want to keep in mind. I want you to keep in mind that this syllabus slideshow um, does not replace you reading or reviewing the nine-page document that I took plenty of time to create for you. But I am going to go over the nuts and bolts for you um, over the next seven slides. Welcome to General Psychology. I'm your instructor, Amira Sims, and I will be um, getting to know each of you a little bit more over the next 16 weeks. A little bit about myself. I have always wanted to be a teacher ever since I was a little kid, and it took a while for me to figure out when to teach college, but not that long. I earned both my bachelor and my master's degree in psychology, and I'm currently working on a PhD in educational psychology. I've been teaching since 2003, so I have quite a bit of, a bit of experience, um, and learning is my thing. So you will have a thread in Canvas titled Personal Introduction, and you get a chance. It's, an, it's a chance for you to introduce yourself to me and to your class members, and you'll get credit for doing so. You also need to reply to two class members. Um, so read their introduction and then comment on it. So this um, syllabus slideshow goes over the nuts and bolts, but I still wanna strongly encourage you to read the nine page document because that's where the magic happens. Um, in terms of the minimum requirement, you need to have at least a computer, you need to have access to the internet, most of our work will be completed via Canvas and the uh, Macmillan Learning Platform Achieve. So, um, you know, that's pretty much how we're going to navigate our course. Uh, typically, the first day of the week will be on Monday, and our class will technically end on Wednesday. So instead of meeting like Monday, Wednesday, you basically have Monday through Friday for week one. Now, with that said, there are specific due dates. And in order to earn credit for the assignments, you do have to meet the due date. If you post an assignment late, you know, there's a late penalty. The late penalty is detailed in, you guessed it, the course syllabus. Um, the only other thing I want to mention on this slide is that um, I've agreed to let my class, uh, all of my classes be a part of the study with Macmillan Learning Platform Achieve. And what this means for you is you have an option to either be a part of the study or to not be a part of the study. If you're a part of the study, then you'll have a chance to complete some survey questions and you'll get $20 Amazon gift card for each survey and you get two surveys over the course of the semester. Uh, you get the free ebook and the free Achieve platform whether you agree to participate or not. All of my classes automatically get the Achieve um, platform and the ebook. If, however, you want a hard copy of the book, like a physical book, then you have to purchase that on your own. But you won't have to purchase the Achieve platform or the ebook. How points equates to grades. So I know this is the part that a lot of you have been waiting for. You're so interested in how you can get that A, B, or C. And I say that because I know that for many of you, you're taking this class because it's required. It's a required class or it's a prereq for another class that's required. So we're going to go over how you can earn points and those points equate to a grade. Now, there is a disclaimer I want to give right now. I really care more about your learning than the grade that you get in the class. So when I went into decided to be a teacher, I decided to do that because I like to talk about what I've learned and I like to listen to students and find out what they learn and I like to collaborate. Okay, so I care more about the learning than the earning of points, but it's up to you to basically you're starting at zero and you're going to amass enough points so that at the end of it, you will get an A or B or C, whatever you're aiming for. If you only want to see in the class, you just need 420 points. But if you want an A, you need between 540 and 600 points, and that will get you an A. Now, if you look on the slide, you can see that there is um, a section here titled Total Points to Letter Grade, and it's showing you exactly where you can fall, you know, over the, um, in terms of points. All right, so there's three big categories, and each category is consists of 200 points, 
and altogether that totals 600 points. So class participation by being actively involved in the class discussions and doing online activities, you will earn up to 200 points. Quizzes and tests, you will earn a total of 200 points just by completing some online assessments. And last but not least, you have a paper and a group project, and this is another way to earn 200 points. Now, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time going over these because I wanna make sure we're all on the same page. Like I said, pages three, four, and five in the course syllabus are gonna go over assessment so you can find out a little bit more about um, you know, what you need to do. But um, just to be clear, you know, you're gonna have both discussion posts so you'll have a, a section in Canvas where you'll go to the discussion board and you'll you know, respond and be active. And then you'll have another section um, via the Achieve platform where you complete assignments and you'll earn points for doing that. All right, so that's class participation. Now for quizzes and tests, we have four quizzes and each quiz is multiple choice and there's a short answer question also. And you'll get up to 25 points for completing these quizzes. If you do poorly on one quiz or you miss one quiz, don't worry, there's a cumulative quiz at the end and that cumulative quiz subs in for your lowest quiz score. So it's totally up to you if you wanna take it or not, but if you miss one quiz or you do poorly on one quiz, that's your, uh, your chance to make it up. Now I have had students miss two quizzes and say, well, what can I do? Well, I give one opportunity for making a mistake and uh, missing a quiz, but beyond that, it's kind of out of my control. All right, now the other way to earn points is via the test. You have a midterm and a final, and each one is worth 50 points, and so that's a total of another 100 points, and altogether that's 200 points. I do give um, two opportunities for extra credit, once at the midterm and once at the final. Each one is worth 10 points, and so technically this also counts for like if you were to miss two quizzes, um, just if you're thinking like that. All right, um, the paper, is worth a total of 100 points and the group project is worth a total of 100 points and we'll spend more time on these assignments as the semester goes on but I do want to let you know that neither one of these assignments is optional the paper is a solo project the group project is a chance for you to work with others and so you're going to have to uh, do both of these so you matter to me your grade matters to you as I said there is an entire module dedicated to this and I feel like I have to spend time talking about this because students constantly want to know, like, how can I get an A in the class? Or I'm just trying to pass. All right, it's like this. I devise my assessment so that I'm basically promoting both inductive and deductive reasoning. I'm trying to get you to think like from general to specific and from specific to general. I'm trying to get you to do a lot of different things. So it's just practice. This class is really just about learning a few facts and practicing a few skills, all right? So um, you might want to ask yourself, why are you taking this class? If you can figure out why you're taking this class, when times get tough, you can kind of go back to this why you're taking the class and that can help you push through. Um, remember, you only need 540 points to get an A. So that leaves pretty much like 60 points of error or margin of error for you to still get an A, to mess up and still get an A. So you just need 540 points. I would aim for the 600, but keep in mind, if you make a few mistakes along the way, don't beat yourself up. Um, on this slide, I have a quote, or not really a quote, but a statement that I made at the bottom. And it says, take responsibility for your learning and your grade. Learning and grades correlate, but are not always the same thing. See module B for more information. And I'm really, really, really encouraging you to check out uh, the video that I linked in module B and it's how to study hard and still fail. This is a video by cognitive psychologist Stephen Chu who has a series of YouTube videos actually, but the information is helpful for your other classes besides just this class. It actually is helpful for life too. So I would encourage you to, you know, to take a look at that video. Um, if you have questions, my email is simsa at cf.eq. And you can also post a question in the questions thread. Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the human mind to think. And they say Albert Einstein said that. Food for thought. Okay, so this slide is very brief. It's about some tips about how to be successful in this course. Um, if I were you, I plan on doing this. First, read the course syllabus, okay? The syllabus is your roadmap. 
If you want to be successful, you're going to need to refer to that syllabus. All right. That's going to help you to know what's due, when something is due, the goals of the course, all that good stuff. Next, the course textbook. If you signed up for this course and you purchased the textbook and you haven't opened it, you can return it. OK, because if you agree to participate in the study or not, you get access to the free ebook um, and achieve platform. Uh, so you can, you know, you have that for you. I post weekly announcements and you would be surprised at how many students email me, you know, with questions that I clearly answered in the weekly announcements. And of course, I have an attitude when I get these messages because I just posted an announcement about it. You want to be successful in the class, read the course syllabus, read your textbook and read the weekly announcements. There you have it. The next thing is to take responsibility for your learning and your grade. Um, I'm rooting for you. I really try to make it so that the class is relatively fun and definitely educational, but it's up to you to take the next step. If you don't take the next step, then the class could be a waste of your time and a waste of your money. So please take responsibility for your learning and your grade. Make this class personal. You know, uh, in the paper, when you get ready to do the paper, you get to decide on what topic you're going to ultimately research. So pick a topic that is that you're passionate about or that you're curious about, you know. Um, when it comes to the group project, you are assigned a topic, but you have a little bit of creative um, leeway and I would say that's another opportunity for you to um, you know make it personal again we have the discussion posts I usually give three options and you get to choose which one is most appealing to you and respond accordingly uh, you have to respond to classmates but you get to decide which classmates you're going to respond to so you know do what feels right what feels um you know, doable. <laughs> All right. Ask lots of questions. I'm here for it. I love when students ask me questions. Sometimes students will say, oh, I don't want to bother you. You're not bothering me. I like when students care about their education. I like when they care about my class. So if you ask questions, by all means, fire away. Now, if you ask me a question uh, and it's something that I just answered in the weekly announcements, then I'm like, OK, <laughs> but I will probably just refer you to the appropriate source because I know there's a lot of information and it can be overwhelming. Um, the last bit of advice I have is to be here now and enjoy the experience. I know it's pretty hard to be um, enjoying anything during this COVID-19 pandemic, but, you know, we're alive and we're here together. So just make the most of this experience. And that's my tip. Macmillan Learning. So basically, I agreed for the classes that I'm teaching this semester to be a part of this study. And what happens is each student in all of my classes has a chance to be a part of the study if they want to. It's up to them. There's no pressure. Whether you are a part of the study or not a part of the study, you'll be treated the same way. And actually, if you decide to be a part of the study, your information is actually uh, redacted. They're going to take your names and stuff out so it won't be your name won't be posted anywhere. But anyway, the assignments are the same whether you're in the study or not. And if you're in the study, basically you'll have a chance to answer some survey questions twice during the semester. And when you do that, you'll get a $20 gift card from Amazon each time. So that's $40. Everyone in the class gets the free book, ebook, and the free um, Achieve platform. So this is actually a benefit to you because it's free whether you decide to be in the study or not. And if if I wasn't a part of the study, then, you know, no one would get the free book. So if you want a hard copy of the book, like the actual physical book, then you would have to pay. But you don't need to pay for the Achieve platform because um, that is included free for everyone in all the classes that I'm teaching this semester. If you have more questions, um, there's an email address in the um, disclosure that you have to sign. And also you can also, you know, send me a message. So remember how I said you could earn up to 100 points for participating in this class? Well, that's true. And the main way you'll get this 100 points is by um, making substantive posts on the discussion board. And some of you are like, well, what's a substantive post? Well, here's a few pointers. One is on time. If you don't make your post on time, 
you won't earn the full credit for the post. So you want it to be on time. Also, the earlier you make your post, the more time you give to your classmates to read and respond to your post. Uh, second, the post is educational. You don't want to just get on that um, thread and say whatever you feel and think and hope and wish and pray. No, this is an educational setting. So you want to share your thoughts and feelings, but you also want to include some information that you gathered from reading the course textbook, from watching the TED Talks, or watching the other educational videos posted or reading scholarly articles. So you definitely want to incorporate some accurate, reliable uh, information in your posts. Next, you want to include examples, details, and explanations. Don't just give a one-liner, okay? This is not the chance, the time to be super brief. Yes, you want to be concise, but you don't want to be concise at the expense of clarity. So definitely give an example, include details, and explanations. Uh, finally, you want to sign your post. This way we know who it is that made this post. Uh, and while we're speaking about signing posts, address your peers by name. All right, so if you don't address your peers by name, there will be a small penalty. So definitely address your peers by name, post on time, make sure your post is educational, and you know, go beyond simple agreement or disagreement. Great, you made it to the end of the slideshow. So I really encourage you to read the entire nine page document because it has everything you need to be successful in this class. Well, you know, the directions. You still will need to read the textbook and stuff, but all the basics, the nuts and bolts are in that syllabus. Um, you can access the syllabus by going to our homepage in Canvas and clicking on syllabus, or from the modules, uh, if you're already in the blah, 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 in modules, click on start here, essentials and extras module, and then click on syllabus that way. And um, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to post a question to the questions thread or email me at simsa at cf.edu. That's S-I-M-S-A at cf.edu. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say.